Hello world, welcome to Coding Scientist. We are here today with our lesson number one, Funny Python Acronym Creator. So what is an acronym creator guys? So as I said before, I am going to show you multiple projects using uh, Python program, Python coding primarily. And uh, I have deployed those both in Jetson Nano as well as on Windows operating system. So for, I'm going to just show you a pretty high level demo and a high level walkthrough of the code, right? I am not going to explain step by step, line by line, as I used to do in the previous tutorials in a different series. In case if any of you are interested in getting these projects with you, you want to own it, you can reach out to me though even though the source codes are there on my github but you may not be able to compile and run immediately you might need some additional steps which i will help you offline you can just message me on my whatsapp or email me i will certainly help you out all right so let's take a look at our first project guys this is a very very simple i want to start with a very simple uh, project so that you know we will take it one at a time one step at a time so acronym creator an acronym creator is a short form of a word created by long words or phrases basically right such as nlp for example you know natural language processing so that is the first letter of nlp is n and then l and p so that's how you create the acronym right uh, in this particular project i i let me just walk you through how to write a program to create acronym using python this is the set of just about five lines of code basically to create acronym using python you need to write python program that generates a short form of a word from any given sentence right you can do this by splitting the indexing to get the first word and then combine it so this is how the acronym uh, has uh, can be created using the python code so if you look at this particular section of the code, I am first basically taking a string user input and then I am using the split function in Python for splitting the sentence. You know, it's as simple as that. Then I declared a new variable A to store the acronym of a phrase in A. So then at the end, if you see at the, uh, at the bottom, I am running into a loop over the variable text right so that will get into the loop which basically represents the split of user input so when you type any of the word while running for the loop we are storing the index value of the string zero in a tuple right within the string format of every word after a split of turning it into a upper case or you can also declare it as a lower case format so let's take a look at it how this particular code is going to run so let me show you a quick demo then probably it will be easy for you to understand so let's say for example let me run this code all right so there you go so if you run this code it, it uh, on the terminal you can see by the way i'm using uh, using visual studio ide you may use PyCharm or any other ID which you are comfortable with. So it's it's not mandatory that you may, you have to use Visual Studio. I prefer Visual Studio because it's very easy, intuitive, and it's very easy to install and configure. So let's let's go ahead with this program. So let let me write a phrase, say, coding scientist. If I hit enter, it says C. Ideally, it's supposed to say C S, but it says C. So, but anyway, that's the program is all about, right? So we can actually modify this program further to enhance this further, and you know, with a space of two letters, coding scientist, it'll say C S. So let's let's run this again, and let's see what happens. Coding scientist space scientist there you go it says cs right so if you leave a space between two words coding scientists it says cs so guys it's a pretty uh, simple program and uh, i hope you enjoyed it again this is a very simple project very very probably you know a tiny tiny toddler school level kind of but i am going to start from the basic and we will move forward with advanced projects so in the next upcoming videos you will see more complex gaming applications and you know vr applications and some of the daily usage mobile apps and stuff coming along you will definitely enjoy all right guys see you then goodbye